نحمد و صلی اللہ رسول الکریم اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو انادر ایکسائٹنگ ایپیسوڈ ایٹ آور چینل عربی گرامر ایزی وے وی آر ان شاء اللہ ڈائیونگ ان ٹو دی ایٹی فائیو پرسینٹ آف قرآنک ورڈس وچ آر یوز موسٹ آف ان دا قرآن اینڈ ان شاء اللہ دس ول ہیلپ اس بلڈ آور ویکیبلری سو لیس ناٹ ویسٹ اینی مور ٹائم اینڈ ڈائیو ان ٹو دا لیسنس ان دس lesson you will learn about the where and the question words and and you will play along uh, please uh, make sure you like the video you watch it till the end it's not a very long video uh, keep uh, leave us some comments and feedback so that we know where we can make some improvements ramadan mubarak let's dive into it jazakallah khair okay so the the where it will give you these words So we know what fauka is. Fauka mean when we say fauka, it says zarfe makan. Yes, fauka is zarfe makan. Place, yeah. Place. Fauka mean above, up. Tahta is the opposite, under. the yeah. under. Yeah. Baina or aidi or baina yadai. It means in front of because yad. Baina is not in between. Between, but when we say yada. Yad is hand, right? So yeah. when we say between the hand, it's basically in front, right? Your hands are in the front, in between your hands or in okay. front of your hands. So that is a reference sort of a Mahavratan. I'm getting on the on the side. Khalfa back. So, so, so brother Abed, if it's only Baina, then it's between. Between, yes, that's right. And look, Baina is down here as well. You see? Okay. So yes. if you look at Baina by itself, is uh, right here. is right is under baina yadai will in front khalf is back or after aapne quran mein padha hoga ke unke baad kuch log aaye to usko bhi khalf kehte hain theek hai na aur back ka bhi matlab ye jo word na khalf hai wo isi se nikla hai uska mujhe malum nahi hai lekin khalf jo hai uska matlab jo hum quran mein padhte hain uske do maane hote hain ek back ka aur ek after کہ ان کے بعد کچھ لوگ اس زمین کے وارث بنے اور انہوں نے پھر یہ یہ کیا وہ ان کبھی میں کوئی آئے ڈھونڈوں گا تو بتاؤں گا آپ کو نیکسٹ ٹائم آپ بھی اس پہ فوکس کریں کہ خلف جو ہے اس کا اس کے دو معنی ہیں امام اور اماما از ان اور امام ان دا فرنٹ کیونکہ امام ہمارے کون کہاں ہوتا ہے ہمارے فرنٹ میں ہوتا ہے اور ورا کیا ہوتا ہے پیچھے بہائنڈ ورا حجاب ورا حجاب کا کیا مطلب ہے کہ حجاب کے پیچھے سے ٹھیک ہے یمین اور دس از بہائنڈ بیسکلی ناٹ بیک اینڈ آفٹر دس بہائنڈ اگر میں کہوں کہ آئی ایم بہائنڈ دا وال سو آئی ایم ناٹ گن سی آئی ایم خلف دا وال آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو سی آئی ایم ورا دا جدار یو نو جدار وال کو شمال اور شمائل از لیفٹ رائٹ بینا از بٹوین ہاؤلا از اراؤنڈ ہائی سو ویئر ایور آئی نما ویئر ایور ہا ہونا ہیئر ہونا لکا دیئر اینڈ آئی ایم شیور یو ہیو سین دیز ورڈز ان دا قرآن یا کوشچن اوکے کوشچن وٹ آر دا ورڈس اور سم آر دشچن ورڈس ما ما مین وٹ that which man is who the one who mata mata is when the time when aina is where kaifa is how or kaifa is also as come how many i you which or whatever anna where from in what way and remember these the alif the hamza with the this is a and this is hal and these are the two question words which has the yes or no answer remember we lo- we looked at this list long time ago maza is the what lima or limaza is why laula is if not why not yeah and liman for who liman for who so did you find this list helpful yeah 
Okay, yes. and and you have you you have heard these words and you've seen these words in the Quran, yeah? yeah. So inshallah, you can look further now when you when you next time read it, you you can ponder and wait, uh, or you can come back to this list and you can think about these, and this these words are, inshallah, will helpful, yeah. This dictionary I have shared with you before. But if you want again, I can give you this dictionary one more time. Yeah. How many people are interested in this dictionary? Yes. Yes. We are. yes. yes. Okay. So in my yes, yes, yes I am yes. interested. Inshallah. So in the WhatsApp group, I am going to send you this, and it has a lot of grammatical information. That what is the difference between lame tarif, lame jins, lai nafi jins. These are different kind of lams we we had, and they by by understanding them, inshallah you will understand what is the why are they different from each other, and it helps in uh, making the translation easier. So basically, how you look for a word, you you actually look for the root words, the root letters. For example, um, over here is starting with Hamza Baba, and then you will. Look is here, is from Bab Daraba, and the Madi will be Abba, Abba because this is a, there is a Abba. yeah. So the instead of writing it like this, you will write Abun Ya Bu Ya Ibu, Abun Ya Ibu, and the master will be Aban, and then there is a different between Asli and Istamali. What does that mean? That means that the asal root words are the hamza, ba, and ba. But what happens with hamza? It is known as weak verbs. What is it known as? Because this is mahmuz, this mahmuzul fa. So the asli letters are this. So, but when you when you use them or when the Arabic grammar uses them, then that version is known as the istamali, like with the way they used it. The asli is different. And the 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 usage is different. See what happened here? It becomes abun. Why? Because this is also double root letters. Yes. Yeah. Do you remember the concept of mudaaf? Because when you have double root letters, then you have to combine them with the shadda. Making sense? Yeah. Okay. So similarly, you will go and look at then from here. Uh, ayn ba ba then or hamza ba ba then hamza ba dal and then uh, hamza ba qaf so you would have to go through this uh, scanning and then until you get to the root letters you're looking after and then you'd read the details of that and this is how you will you will get the gist of what's going on do you find this useful very useful hamza. yeah Okay, mm -hmm. so mashallah, you can see we have this uh, para where we where this things are made easy for us by this. I think the same person who did this who did this dictionary, he also did this kind of help for us. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this is also a limited version of combining the dictionary and the word so that you don't have to go and switch back and forth. You can get a lot of information just by reading through this, and this is how your information or in knowledge will increase the more you read the more yeah. you use your eyes to scan through this inshallah your vocabulary your understanding of the patterns your understanding of how the structure is done and then you'll start to put two and two together and sometimes you don't have all the details but still your mind is able to extract the meaning out of it yeah